today's video is going to be the high perfect donut bun now to help you I bought this from H&M I think you guys have seen the, the haul on that video when I showed you this and um, after I bought this I knew that you can create your own donut bun there's a lot of videos here on YouTube that actually shows you how to do this um, and also I knew that you make it with a pair of socks, like a pair of socks, obviously clean, and like a pair of old socks, clean. And uh, yeah, this really cool video, I'll indicate one of my favorites in the info box if you guys are interested to watch. And uh, yeah, so for now, I really like this one. It's the same color as my hair, almost, it's a bit darker. But um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm also using a Aussie Hold in feel extra extra strong hold and touchable feel um, hairspray looks like this and the reason why I use this is just I want to make it really really smooth and no fly out or anything also I'm going to be using two kind of hair ties I'm using a big one so I can tie my hair up and just it will stay there and then I'm going to be using any thin hair tie so I can put it through the donut button the first thing I want to go ahead and do is take my hairbrush and I want to basically what I like to do and how I like to start it. My hair is like whatever today so that's why I want to tie it up in fancy. So I'm just going to take the Ussie hairspray and also just spray it on. I like this hairspray but at the same time I don't because it does have that, you know when you put gel on your hair, the how like when it dries how s stiff it is that's exactly what it does but then I also like it because it just keeps in all all the fly out in place so so I, for me to do this I'm just going to basically comb my hair all backward now if it's necessary you can go ahead and spray again okay first of all I just like to take my hair and then with a the brush, kind of put it as high as I want it to be. Or there's another way that you guys could do. You can flip your hair all the way down and take it all to the highest point of your head <laughs> and tie it. Make sure that you don't have any bumps of any kind. You want your hair to be really flat to your head. And I'm just going to take a hair tie and tie everything in place. That's tied up. You can take that spray again and spray the rest of of the fly out hair that you have then you can smooth it with your hand alright so I find that this is the hard part is just to get everything out in a perfect way and I don't think this is a perfect way neither but whatever tried my best <laughs> okay so then I'm going to take the donut bun and I just want to put it through the ponytail like this and then the trick is that you want to separate your hair that it covers all the bun I'm going to have a hair tie in hand for this so you basically have to look like this to do this so you want to make sure that the hair is everywhere mm. 
just going to take another hair tie because I don't think that it kind of worked. Okay, I think that's how they do it. <laughs> I really don't know. This is kind of my first try. I normally, when I put this donut bun, I normally just twist the whole hair around it. But for now, hopefully you guys can see what it looks like this. You can see it. Yeah, now I saw people really, that they do really crazy stuff with this. Like they braid this and they just turn it around like so but I'm not gonna braid it because I don't really have time for that at the moment so I separated my hair in two I just twisted one one in place and I'm just gonna take the other and twist it and you also need some bobby pins I'm going to take a bobby pin and secure the first one, just like that, and take the other, and I'm just going to twist it around as well. Take another bobby pin and secure that. Now you just want to basically place bobby pins wherever. I have baby hair everywhere so I like to take bobby pins at the back of my head and just kind of crisscross them make like an X behind with bobby pins because I find that they stay on all day like this. I really like it. I think it's very sophisticated. Um, I think it's a look that I would definitely wear if I go to an interview or anything like this. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. <laughs>